summer's here, it's Friday night, yay! Well today I'm going to be talking about things I've learned since moving here to Hawaii. I've been here about three years now and there's a lot of things that you just don't realize until you come here. So I thought that I would share a few things that I've learned with you. For one thing, you learn a whole bunch of new words when you come here that just become common day-to-day -day things that I don't even realize I say anymore or that other people say that I understand. There are so many vocab words. Pao, mauka, makai, mahalo, aloha, obviously aloha. I'm going to attempt to speak pigeon. This should be really entertaining for you. That's why we went put them together, you know? So you guys could have good fun too. I suck. <laughs> I can't say it. But one other thing. <laughs> We get special feeling about pigeon. They get together for party. I sound like... I can't even say it. <laughs> After that sad attempt, you can definitely feel free to call me Howley. Which means foreigner, whitey, not from here. It's okay, I'm a Howley. It's all right. All right, another thing that I didn't realize until I moved here was there are no billboards anywhere. They're outlawed here, which actually I think is really nice. <coughs> there's no gambling and there's no lottery here. They call Vegas the ninth island because you can't gamble here, so everybody flies to Vegas. And actually that's the cheapest place to fly to. This is something that I absolutely love about Hawaii, and that is that there are no snakes and no bears no mountain lions and no coyotes, basically no predators, except for ones in the water, like sharks. So if you are hiking through the jungle, you can run into wild boar, and they can be very vicious. I've been chased by them a couple of times, and they are pretty violent. But other than that, it is considered customary to remove your shoes before you enter somebody's house. It's just a custom. Okay, porches, decks. Patios. They're called lanai's here. Um, it's just kind of part of the speak. You just, let's go out on the lanai. Okay, vog is a term that refers to volcanic smog, basically. And the big island is erupting. It has been for years and years. And it's just kind of something you come to deal with here, and it can cause a lot of allergy problems with people. I haven't really noticed a problem with it because it's rare that we ever notice it here on Oahu. You'll notice here that when people give directions, they refer to either um, Mauka or Mokai sides, which means mountainside or oceanside. Another awesome thing about Hawaii is there's no daylight savings time, Yay! which I love. I think this is something they should have gotten rid of a long time ago in all the other states. Thank goodness they don't have it here, so you never have to set your clocks forward. Here in Hawaii, everybody is a minority, which is actually pretty cool. Okay, if you're a Haole like me, you stay away from the west side of the island. So if you're visiting here and you hear of towns like Waianae or Makaha, don't go there unless you know really good self-defense or you're, you're packing or whatever. You're packing. This is reaching for your gun that's in your boo. There are a lot of really good restaurants here. However, it does not compare to the mainland. Go in and out. Koala Garden. There's Krispy Kreme, but I'd have to fly to Maui to get it. No Ikea, no H&M, no Joe's Crab Shack, no CC, no Golden Corral, no Chipotle, no Kohl's, no Trader Joe's, no Super Salad, no Red Robin, <gasps> no White Castle, no Sonic, no REI, no Six Flags, no Boston Market, no Five Guys Burgers, no Chick-fil-A, no Fuddruckers, no 99 cent only stores, no real Mexican food. We realized that the aforementioned locations included more than just restaurants, however, we felt it necessary to include everything else that is not here as well because there's a lot that's not here, and that sucks macadamia nuts. This makes me sound exactly like Wendy Testaburger. Finally, the biggest problem I face every day, and that is deciding which pair of flip-flops to wear. No, I'm looking for a specific pair. None of these match this outfit. Oh yeah, they're not called flip-flops here. They're called slippers. 
which I think is really stupid because slippers are these. They keep your feet warm. Flip flops aren't slippers. Flip flops are flip flops. They're not supposed to be slippers or thongs or sandals or whatever other word. It's just flip flops, okay? You brother, take off your slippers, y'all. Yeah. Oh, that was better, pigeon. I wasn't thinking about it, but it was still probably pretty bad. So all you local Hawaiians, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to butcher your team speak. I'm just making it worse, aren't I? Those are just a few of the many, many things that I have learned since moving here to Hawaii, and I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, I've got to be honest with you guys. If you're having a tough time in your life right now and you're struggling making a decision or you're stuck in a rut, my advice would be to just take a leap of faith because you won't regret it. There is a quote that I love to live by and it's by Lucille Ball and she says, I'd rather regret the things I've done than regret the things I haven't done and it is so true. Oh man, the adventures that have come my way, you just have to jump in and just do it. I had never been to Hawaii before I moved here, and then I just moved, and it was the best decision I ever made in my life, so I highly suggest, if you haven't visited here, come visit, or if there's a place in the world that you're just dreaming about, just do it. You know, if you're not happy with your life, you're the only person who can change that. So, anyway. Have a good weekend, you guys, and um, if you like this video or my other videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's free, absolutely free, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.